Yeah. Hey, we in the mine shafts. Getting all the diamonds. You know what it is. Hola, como se puede ver, he aprendido el español, pues porque me había... As you can see, I have learned Spanish, and that's why I was gone. I'm back, and I have no idea if that was right, because I just used some random translator. As you can see, I've changed the name of the channel, and I have a very good reason. The reason is that the name that I used to use was very restricting, and I couldn't make certain types of videos, just because of the name. But now it's all sorted, and I've decided to come back. It's a perfect time to, for me to make videos again, because it's summer. It's a bit weird, since some other YouTubers have decided to come back as well. I'm not going to be bothered to tell you their names, because I don't really give a damn. When I left, I was prepared to lose quite a bit of subs, especially since the last video I made was a flop. By flop, I mean it wasn't as good, but somehow the channel got even bigger, and even after time, the subs were going up. At the time of making this video, the channel is on about 800 subs, now it's like 795 or 791, which is kind of sad, since I released the kind of I'm back video, which I thought was funny, but apparently not. Anyway, enough. I think I can stop talking about that. If there are any, uh, if there is anything you want to ask me about, then you can comment it, and I will probably respond. If you're wondering, I'm going to be making videos once a week, like before, released on Monday. I do actually have a video free, and I'm going to start that now. See you next week. Okay, TV series. How do I talk about them, you ask? Well, like most people, I like TV series. You probably are asking why I'm doing this topic again, but it's a new channel, and last time it was on cartoons, not like just TV series, so you know, it's different. So, I spoke about Rick and Morty, and that's still one of my favorite TV series, but that's not back, so fuck it. Since then, I've started watching a TV series, series, and it has also become one of my favorites. It's called Prison Break, and some people from my class have seen it, and if you haven't seen it, I strongly suggest you watch it. I know the name kind of puts you off, but it is really good. Here, I'll go get the storyline from IMDb. Okay, time to put the reading glasses on. Here we go. Storyline from IMDb, shown on screen and read out. An innocent man is framed for the homicide of the vice president's brother and is scheduled to be executed at a supermax penitentiary. Thus, it's up to his younger brother to save him with his genius scheme. Install himself in the same prison by holding up a bank and, as the final month ticks away, launch the escape plan step by step to break them both out, with his full body tattoo acting as his guide. A tattoo which hides the layout of the prison facility and necessary clues vital to the escape. I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want to spoil anything, and it's a bit short, but you get the basics. So another TV series that I advise you to watch is Red Dwarf. This is a comedy slash sci-fi, and it is amazing. It has just returned and has already won British Comedy of the Year. Its first episode aired in 1988, so it's a bit old, but that doesn't stop it from being one of the funniest TV series ever. Here is the storyline from IMDb, shown on screen and read out. An unambitious slob from Liverpool has been awakened from a high-tech stasis chamber three million years in the future to find he may be one of the last humans alive. Hopelessly lost in space, this crew of mostly Sadak bachelors kill time and share adventure aboard the mining ship Red Dwarf. Step up to Red Alert. Uh, sir, are you absolutely sure? It does mean changing the bulb. <laughs> Now we are nearing the end of the video, I advise you all to start watching these TV series while waiting for my next video. Both of the TV series I've mentioned are available on Netflix and probably online on some sites that I probably should not mention. Also, tell me which TV series are your favourite in the comments. I will be answering as many as possible. Goodbye.